core Pew Mathematics 1. Paper 1, Monday, 11th May, 2020. For the Mathematics, 9FMO. Answer all questions and ensure that your answers to parts of questions are clearly labeled. You should show sufficient working to make sure your methods are clear. Answers without working may not gain full credit. Question number one. F of Z is 3Z cubed plus PZ squared plus 57Z plus Q, where P and Q are real constants. Given that 3 minus 2 root 2i two is a root of the equation f of z equals to 0, show all the roots of f of z equals to 0 on a single argon diagram. So the complex conjugate is another root. So if we have one of the roots alpha is 3 minus 2 root 2i, two the complex conjugate is al beta is 3 plus 2 root 2i. Two so it's minus there, it's plus there. So the complex conjugate beta plus, beta is equal to three plus two root two i is also a root. Now we need to find the sum and product for the conjugate pair. And to get the sum and product, we would have beta, 3 plus 2 root 2i times alpha. So this would be, if you multiply alpha and beta, you will get 17. And you can do that with your calculator. And if you add alpha plus beta, alpha plus beta, if you add them together, you will get six. So alpha times beta is 17. Alpha plus beta is six. And you can do that using your graphics calculator. And this is a formula which I'm going to use this idea. Alpha plus beta plus gamma is equals to minus B over A. Alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma A is C over A. And alpha beta gamma is minus D over A. And when we want to find C over A, C is 57 and A is 3. So C divided by A is 57 divided by 3. And that will represent alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma. So C is 57 and A is 3. Now, we know alpha beta is 17. So we substitute 17 for alpha beta. So that means alpha beta 17 plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma is equals to 57 over 3. Now we can factorize. I've put gamma in yellow. That yellow means we can factorize. If we take gamma out of the bracket, we will have alpha plus beta is equals to 57 over 3 minus 27 will give you 2. But we know alpha plus beta is 6. Alpha plus beta is 6, which we've done here in the calculator. Alpha plus beta is 6, which we had done up here before. Now we replace alpha plus beta with six. So gamma times six equals to two. So gamma would be, take six to the other side, it becomes two divided by six. Gamma will be one over three. Now you know your three, you know alpha, beta, and gamma. Three factors. Alpha is three minus two, two i. Beta is three plus two, two i the complex conjugate pair, and gamma is one over three. So three plus or minus two root two i must be plotted correctly in quadrants one and three, quadrants one and four. 
quadrants one and four, which are reflections in the real axis. So it's like a reflection in this real axis. The real axis is like the mirror and you have a reflection. The real root must be close to the origin compared to the complex roots. So this is the real root, which is gamma. It's one over three must be close. So if you imagine alpha, two root two is 2.8. So two root two is 2.8. So we want to plot three on the real axis and minus 2.8 on the imaginary axis. So the real axis is this one, which would normally be the X axis. And the imaginary axis is this one, which would normally be the Y axis in Cartesian coordinate system. So we go three to the right and then minus 2.8 down. So three minus 2.8, we mark it there. We join the line and three plus 2.8 I, three to the right and 2.8 up. So that's the next one. And then gamma is 0 0.3, which is there and is real. So we just go 0 0.3, which is one third. So that is your representation on the Agon diagram. Question 1b, find the value of P and the value of Q. We know that alpha plus beta plus gamma is equals to minus B over A. But B is P and A is 3. So from that function which was given B is P and A is 3. And we know alpha, beta, and gamma. So we substitute, that's alpha, 3 minus 2 root 2i, beta, plus gamma, which is 1 over 3. When you put alpha plus beta was 6, which we've done in the calculator, plus 1 over 3 is equals to minus p over 3. So to get p, 3 times 19 over 3, you take this 3 to that side, 3 times 19 over 3, it gives you minus p, and times by minus 1, p is minus 19. And the next one we use product. Alpha times beta times gamma is equals to minus Q over three. If you put all of that in your calculator, if you put alpha times beta, you get 17 times one over three, which will give you 17 and then you times by a minus so q would be minus 17. so your two answers are p is minus 19 and q is minus 17. so this is the answer for part of question 1a the second part of question 1a the third part of question 1a and question 1b